Bitcoin has hit a financial milestone not reached in almost four centuries. It's taken over the title of biggest bubble in history for what was known as tulip mania in the Netherlands. Bitcoin's value has surged by around 60 times in the last three years. That's considerably faster than tulip bulbs in the 17th century, which were at one point worth 10 years of a skilled craftsman's earnings. Back then, prices were driven by greed or a fear of missing out. But as more people bought into the bulbs for quick profits, a flurry of sales collapsed the price and left many with crippling debts. Bitcoin is being called the digital tulip of the 21st century as the same pattern emerges, a fear of missing out and new investors piling in. Critics say the perceived value of the currency, like the tulip, is being conjured out of thin air. But the ever-growing army of Bitcoin believers say it's here to stay, an operational market in full flow around the clock, and new places all over the world ready to accept the cryptocurrency as payment. Even a church in London is happy to accept donations of the virtual kind. With the size of the Bitcoin market already surpassing some countries' economies, New Zealand included, influential banks are being left behind. But as history shows us, boom is usually followed by bust. So is Bitcoin about to wilt? Despite the fear, though, some people have struck it lucky and pretty rich, too, with this virtual currency. Uh, the internet entrepreneurs, the Winklevoss brothers here, uh, they're currently billionaires because of Bitcoin. Uh, this youngster, a teenager, is now a millionaire, too, after investing a small sum from his grandma just a few years ago. And the man who is said to have been uh, behind uh, Bitcoin, uh, he reportedly holds something like $17 billion worth. Not bad, but it's not been plain sailing for everybody. In fact, there are quite a few sob stories too. We can have a look at some of them. Uh, a man threw away thousands of Bitcoin when his hard drive broke back in 2013, thinking that they were worthless, a very costly mistake. Uh, then there was a man who paid 10,000 Bitcoin for two pizzas a few years ago, another costly purchase. And then this man was jailed for money laundering after he sold his Bitcoin to a person involved in illegal drugs.